and then the trees are over on the right hand thirds on this side and the barn's right over on the edge so in a position um, where I can get the barn in it. Hello and welcome. Uh, we are out. This is um, another one of my local ones. Um, I'm only about 35, 38 miles away from home. I'm trying to keep local this weekend because, uh, yeah, fuel costs and all that. I can't seem to travel that far every weekend. It's just too expensive. Um, got some beautiful, beautiful light rays over there. Absolutely stunning. Um, if they're still there in a minute when I get out of the van, I'll try and get a shot of them because um, they just look really nice. So I'm heading just over this wall. I'm in the van. I'm parked up the top end of the roaches. Uh, I'll put a little point on a map for you, um, or at least a what three words to where I am. You could probably park here overnight, to be honest. The van's actually quite flat in this position where I am. Uh, I am right next to the road though, so it's probably not advisable for a big vehicle to come trundling through in the night, but it's not blocking the road. I am actually on a bit of a lay-by. I'm just going over yonder. There's a barn and a tree. Uh, if you don't know it, Google it. Uh, the Roaches Barn or something like that. Um, the sun is going to go down, unfortunately, over that way though. Uh, we are on the 27th of October, so I'm going to miss... I wanted to try and get a sunset, but wrong time of year, sun's going to be in the wrong place. But, that said, it's still not going to stop me trying. So I'll, um, I've got my shoes on, so I'll get out, maybe whack the quickly, whack the long lens on and take a quick shot of that. And I'm going to put my coat on, my coat's here, I'm going to put my coat on because it's bleeding freezing, it's, it is chilly out there. So, uh, yeah, right, take my keys, get my coat on. Come on, let's go. Like I said, this is dead close to the parking. We haven't got to go far at all, so it's not a bad little jaunt. And we're just gonna head up this. So I said this was quite an easy one, didn't I? And we are literally right on the barn. It's two minutes from there. when you get these light rays that uh, are going on over there it normally means there's rain as well you don't normally get light rays just on their own and over on the right hand side over there um, I'm not sure if I can video it on this big camera for you um, I've got the big lens on so I might be able to video it for you just to show you but it definitely means I think over there is uh some rain going on so the camera's on at the moment i'm not sure where it's focusing it's trying to focus it's hunting a bit but yeah there's definitely some rain going on over there in the distance but the light rays look good yeah maybe maybe i might get wet I've got me waterproof in my bag, yeah, just in case I need it. And the van's only over there, isn't it? So it starts spitting, but in all fairness, if it does, it could make for quite an interesting uh, image, maybe. Why is that doing that? Let's uh, put it back on and get a, a still, because I think that looks pretty good. I'm bracketing, I don't really need to bracket, but you can see these lovely light rays coming from the left and then punching down into the rain shower over on the right hand side. So they do, they look pretty good. Not sort of thing that, you know, is very photogenic on its own, but long lenses on the camera, so I think what might work is a pano, you know. I wonder if I'm going to do a panel of the whole of that light ray. I'm going to give it a go. 
All right, I've got some sheep right in front of me. Hey, your sheepies, you carry on going. I'm not. I'm not going to bother you. You carry on doing what you're doing. So let's uh, let's get this zoomed in a little bit. Let's get this zoomed in. This is, this is going to be mostly about the sky. I've got to put it on manual. So flick it around to T, which means I can then adjust my shutter. And we'll aim it at the brightest part, which is that bit there. And we're going to bracket and just clip the highlights on the bracket. Then I've got a shot up and a shot down. It looks pretty awesome, to be honest. I don't really want the sky in the middle. So I'm going to go to there. Oh, I haven't got my camera lens level yet. So let's get my camera level. The beauty of this, I've got that half cup ball head on this one. Nice and simple. And then we're going to bring it down. We are going to set the horizon level in camera. And we're going to bracket each shot. So here we go. We're going to go right round to the outside of the light rays. My two second time wasn't on, so I'm going to take that one again. And I'm just going to work along. F8. Overlapping a quarter each time to make sure we've got plenty of overlap. The light rays look brilliant and on the far side of the light rays you've got this really dark grey horrible mush of rain shower so this wasn't what I came out of the van to catch but this is definitely worth getting anyway and each time just overlapping the image so that when you stitch them together they should all come out and shooting in manual all the exposures will be the same I'm bracketing up to two stops over and to two stops under so I've got a full set of dynamic range that'll do the sky looks quite nice actually the sky does look quite nice the only thing I might do is just run past again get in a bit closer and go a second pass this time a little bit closer in and just gives me the option of two two shots let's go back to the bright part yeah, the bright part's going to be overexposed if I'm not careful so again this time I put my hand in front just so I can I can see where I start and stop the last one and then we do another pass again as that rain cloud drifts across and one of these should work just nicely so my question is are you a taker a maker, a shooter, or just a doer? <laughs> Do you shoot, take, or make? That's my question to you. Let me know in the comments. Do you shoot, take, or make? Now, I take an image, and I also shoot an image. But at the moment, I suppose, I'm making an image. Now, I'm taking lots of shots, but I need to stitch them together to make the final image. So am I a shooter, taker or maker? Are you a shooter, taker or maker? That's a good one, isn't it? That'd be a nice long strip with some crazy looking uh, light rays and rainstorm that's going over in the background over there. And it's definitely definitely going over the rainstorm in the background Whew. I'm glad I'm not over there at the moment right one more standard shot just there lock it off just of the light rays right I need to find a composition now I'm going to leave that on like that because if something happens over there I want to be ready for it. But I'm going to now move around here, maybe with my phone, and see if I can set up a, a position with this. I'd, I'd like to get the barn in and the trees, or maybe that in the background. But the light's going to go down. I think I can actually put my photo pills on, couldn't I, and actually see where the sun is going to go down. That would be a better way of doing it. I'm rambling on because I'm out on my own, aren't I? And that means I've got chance to talk to you guys so let's move photo ephemeris on and this is let me uh, photo pill sorry and this should give me once i've got it a bit calibrated 
this should give me where the sun's actually going to go down the augmentation of the sun and I, at the moment I don't even have a sun it's telling me it's actually telling me the sun's going to go down over there behind the barn and I find that hard to believe but okay if, if that's the case I'm going to do a screenshot of this so I can show you what it is I've got okay so that's a screenshot I'll put it up on the screen now and it's saying the sun's coming down behind that barn um, at some point so I'm definitely in the right place and if that's the case I should get that barn in quite nicely and the time is going to be when it sets somewhere around seven I'm gonna wander around here now with my phone on to see if I can get myself in a position um, where I can get the barn in it and as least distraction as possible um, the problem is it's it's where to be now I've got three trees I can go for the three or I can pull in a bit tighter and try and go for two uh, what I'll do is I'll tell you what I'm gonna I'll do the same old same old I'm gonna do me screen record I started recording um, this is what I'm looking at, at the moment and at the moment I've got some lovely clouds up here and I've got these two barns but there's my third tree now do I put this third tree in and sort of go sort of wider sort of shot like this and having three trees in the barn in the middle and then hopefully the sun's going to come down over this side if you get that gap in the distance and it lights them up amazing um, or I can come round here and shoot that direction with the light over there which might be quite nice actually at the moment and just maybe clone a little patch out in the corner to get rid of that because I don't really like it but it's just a case of moving around and getting yourself you know do I go a little bit higher higher I can lift up and less land and more cloud or do I go down lower and uh, try and get a shot you know sort of further down using the barn you know using leading lines if I can find something you know I've got grass and patches I mean I can go in tighter you know I can go in tighter like that but I cut out this tree on the corner but then I'm going to lose a lot of the sky and I think we need to go wider really to to keep that sky in and try and I think we need a shot with that sunlight in the background you know what I mean you know what I mean I don't know why I said that that's my London in me I think we need something like that so you've got the tree at the top here try not to clip that edge you've got this bit of grass down the bottom and then this bright patch of light shining across so time to get the wider angle on and get a shot of that I think you wouldn't believe what's going on over there it's it's looking pretty good actually and i've got the camera in the wrong direction i need to i need to get a photo of that because that looks really good and even though it's not a an extreme classic with a nice foreground there was definitely a lot going on in that image that i like so there's an old farm in the bottom ground the light's going to come down below that cloud so I'm going to whack this up to an f22 and I'm getting a sun star in this big atmosphere and that definitely looks like rain going on over there let's just put it over onto the left this is one of those things where I'm just shooting I'm just making the most of being out I haven't planned to come and shoot this the sun's actually coming out underneath that cloud or through the gap and it just looks bonkers on the land so I'm gonna eliminate as much of the I'm taking the land out I'm gonna put sky in and I'm gonna take another one I just love that shape of that it looks so good and I do hope that rain's not coming this way even though I'm quite happy to have a rain shower now I'm at f I'm gonna go right into 55 mil I'll punch it all the way in there's a bit of a that's nice that is that's really nice I do like that let's focus right up on the sun and hopefully I can get that as sharp as I can and then I've got a slight sun flare which I can put my finger in and get rid of and then just paste it back in afterwards that's the way to cover up the sun just to get that sun flare out and now I'm going to go to f8 and do the same again this way any imperfections on the lens it should actually get rid of them that looks so good 
It really does look good. I love that. Such a lot of atmosphere going on over there. It's telling such a story. I'm going to try and get it. I'm going to swap the lenses over and I'm going to try and get it in the background with a tree and that in the foreground. So bear with me while I swap these over. This is real time again. Do you like this real time stuff where I'm waffling on, telling you what's going on in my head? As I'm, as I'm thinking, I'm doing, and you're getting no filters. Um, I'm literally saying what I'm seeing, seeing what I'm saying. 10 mil, let's go around. Get the camera level. 10 mil's a bit too wide. Let's go in to about 14 mil. I've got the barn on my right. I've got the sky. Let's put all the clouds in. We haven't got, we don't want the land. The land's boring, it's just grass. And we've got that low sun and the atmosphere going on. Camera's nice and level. This time I'm focusing on the tree, uh, the tree in the barn, because that's the most important part. You can see the sun is just catching my eyes. So let's whack this up to 22 again. Image stabilizer off, up to 22. Focus, we're getting that sun star over in the distance. Ooh, it's quite nice. There is some light on the clouds above me as well, so just take a bit more of the grass off. So we're getting more of a lead in line. These all about these clouds up in the top and the barns on the bottom. I just need to get that tree in a little bit on the right hand side so I can clone it out so I don't clip the edge of the barn. I know the trees are silhouetted, I know the barn's not great. I've got a sun star which is awesomely fantastic. And I'm, it really is beautiful over there and I know you can't see it, it's such a shame. I'm going to make sure my lens is clean because any spots on the lens are f22 and it's game over. So this wasn't the shot and isn't the shot that I came out to get, but I like it nevertheless. Lovely cloud formations are going down through so it looks like a V going through the image. Sun on the left hand side giving me a nice glow. I've got nothing on the barn, it's just a silhouette and the trees are silhouetted. so. I think it's all I can do. I think I'm going to go lower as well. I'm going to go lower, 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 and try and get as low as I can under, under the barn. Go on, go all the way down. Why not? Right down to the ground. You can't even see me, can you? Right down to the ground. Yeah, come down here. I'll tell you what. I want to put you on a long lens so you can see what's going on in front of us. So you can probably see the sunlight now. That is a beautiful glow. Oh my God. Oh my God, that is amazing. It's casting this beautiful glow right across the grass in front of me. Come on, take it, take it, take it. Yeah, we've got a sun flare, sun stars. We've got imagery going on. Let's focus on the distance as well. That way it should make the sun a bit brighter. And, oh, I like that. I like that. I'm getting light on the grass in front of me. I've got clouds up in the sky, everything's going on. The sun's probably right in your eyes at the moment, but it really doesn't matter. And then I'm going to go down to F11 from 22, and now I'm going to get a bit of a, a haze. I've got the barn, I've got some grasses and whatnot going on. And, oh, it just, it's all there. It's all there for the shot. It's all there for the taking. Let's go again, take that. It's very, very bright over in that corner. I don't mind that that side of the image really, really bright. It doesn't seem to bother me. I, I actually like, I like the fact it's bright. I'm just going to hold on to the, the throttle on the older shutter button until that sun gets in a position that makes, so it's just clipping the, just clipping the light. And then what it will do is it will it'll make a sharper sun star. So I've just got to get back over there, focus on the on the sun. And as the sun goes down, it will just, the smaller the sun in the image, the better the sun star, if that makes any sense. Oh, this was going to be a quick five minute video and this has turned out to be pretty nice. That's lovely. It is nice. It's nice. So you can now see what I'm doing. And I'm just taking shots. The sun's gone down a little bit lower now and it's just making that nice, finer, the finer, arty, crafty, fine line. You can just see it in the bottom there. It's just causing me a nice, and suddenly it's disappearing. There it goes. 
there it goes gone it just disappears behind that that cloud which isn't a problem I've, I've taken loads I haven't moved the camera so I can pick the best bit that I like and blend it in let's go back to f11 get myself a nice clean shot the sun's gone down now and it's drifting it's drifting it's drifting it's disappearing you can see the land around me's gone dark everything's going dark and it's almost like a full sunset and it's just gone now it's just in total darkness but yeah it's like a full sunset let's see if i'm going to zoom in and show you what it is i'm actually got on my screen it's quite difficult to see really isn't it but that's pretty much what i've got on my screen um, I had the sun down here in this bottom left hand corner on the line of thirds and then the trees are over on the right hand thirds on this side and the barns right over on the edge and then I've got these lovely clouds that are sort of drifting in sort of both directions like that so it's sort of causing a, um, a bit of a, a line in the, in the sky so yeah I, I like that and now I can see all the rain going on in the distance so if I bring you up and show you what I can see there we go let's go up like that keep going up keep going up keep going up now that let's just come back around that side that is what i'm left with over there now i can see all of that and it looks like a real monster full of um rain and stuff going on over there it really does but now i'm getting i mean i can't oh, i can you can see me finger i'm now i'm getting to see this glow across the top of these clouds here so I'm getting that glow on across of these top of these clouds, and what that's doing is, it's it's giving me a slightly different look. So now I'm getting that softer glow on the image. So I haven't moved the tripod, I haven't moved the camera at all. I'm keeping it all in the same place, and I'm still talking, so you, you're seeing it's live action of what's going on. So I've still got exactly the same composition, still pointing that way, and now I've got this bit of a glow going on up there. Now if that glow sh streaks up and hits the clouds above us, which is up here. So if it's going to go up, up there and start to hit these clouds up here, it make them look right nice. So I can paint these nicer clouds in back with the nicer light that was down here on the bottom and then put the sun star back in and make one complete image out of it. Cheating maybe, but why not? Another one. Taking, making or shooting. Shoot, take or make. What do you do? God, I put me hood up because it's right chilly. It really is, and I've left my gloves in the car, in the van. So, uh, yeah, I've got a bit of a chill on. Um, I'm also suffering with toothache at the moment, along with many other things. Oh, yeah, excuse me. I haven't had any tea yet either, so I'm starving. So I'm going to have a late tea, uh, waiting for this sun to go down. I've got beans with sausages, which I haven't had for years. I saw them in B&M the other day, and I thought, oh, I'm going to have them. And I've got a steak, a steak bake type of thing um, so I'm going to warm that up in the Ridge Monkey and I'm going to warm my beans and sausages up and I'm just going to enjoy the two I'm going to have a nice tea I'm going to have a, a latte I'm going to have a, a caramel latte and that's going to be my tea and supper night tonight I'm still pressing the shutter button every so often because the clouds are moving and changing a little bit but I don't think I'm going to get anything better than what we've already had and seen but I'm going to wait it out for a bit. I'm not going to move the camera. I'm going to leave it pointed at that barn. Um, we've got Titterswar Reservoir as well, right down there in the in the bottom. Uh, Titterswar Reservoir, and there's a bloke up on the stones up on the top there. Tomorrow morning, I'm hoping to do a sunrise here as well. So I'm going to drive down the road down to the Roaches End, and I think I'm going to go up and have a look at the Roaches now. You know, we could get a bit of cloud in the morning. Tell you what I will do. Let's check the uh, weather app and see what's going on. Anything else tonight, I'll put it on. But I think I've waffled on enough. This has been real time. I've literally been talking for another four minutes. So I am going to stop. There's no more cloud going on at the moment. This is as much as you're going to get. So thanks for watching. Give us that thumbs up. Don't forget like and subscribe. Very important, please. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up and uh, drop us a comment. If you don't know what to say, and I've said this so many times, just type in hi. And people are doing that, and it's brilliant, because I, I know you've got nothing to ask or comment on as such, but punching in hi, top people, top, top stuff. Keep it coming. Ciao for now, see you soon, and uh, yeah, wish me luck. Am I gonna get anything else other than this? If I do, you're gonna see it. If I don't, 
you're not. <laughs> bye bye.